Hello, thanks for joining me for another review. Right, today we've got a beer from the West of Hunbury, and this is the Dragon's Shadow. It's a coffee stout coming in at 4.5% ABV, 30 IBUs. Um, yeah, the second of the four beers that they kindly sent me. Let's crack it open then, and then we'll go into a little bit more about what's in it. Right, so this is a collaboration beer with Otto's Coffee Shop in Seven Oaks. West Kent and they are using a Costa Rican coffee in this beer so it's a one finger kind of yeah slightly roasted off-white head if you like uh, jet black and there's a little bit of light coming through the bottom but yeah looks really quite nice in the glass so it's brewed with, where's the name, it's the Cerro Dragon, uh, which is a Costa Rican coffee on a single estate. So yeah, we'll see what this was all about. I must admit, it's, it, it sounded really nice. I read a little bit of the commercial description, so I thought, yeah, let's go for this. The weather's a bit rough and the coffee fades. This is a seasonal offering, by the way, uh, May to June uh, from the Western Brewery. So yeah, lovely creamy looking head there. It's getting aroma. Wow, there's a lot of kind of dark fruits coming through on that, like a um, Black Forest Gatto cherry kind of thing. Nice roasty, toasty on the malt. <laughs> like an espresso coffee with a little bit of almost smells creamy, if that makes sense. A little bit of baker's chocolate. Let's go in. Cheers. Cheers down at the brewery as well. Thank you. Very pleasant. Oh. That's nice. It's not, I mean, it's 4.5%, so if you're after that kind of you know, that thick kind of gloopy um, kind of thing, you're not going to get it with this. It's a 4.5%, you know that before you buy it, whatever. So, but what you are getting is, is it's very sweet. Very sweet. This is a, um, a gluten-free beer, which um, I think all of their beers are gluten-free. It's a gluten-free brewery, vegan, gluten-free. This is cold cold and fused. Did it say it's a um did it? Did it? yeah cold infused coffee stout. There's a lot of kind of dark fruits going on in this, maybe a little bit of kind of red currant and stuff, but just underneath all, all of that kind of coffee flavour. It's a medium kind of mouthfeel, which you kind of expect. Um, it's actually a little bit more fuller bodied than I was kind of expecting it to be, so that's that's a that's a winner for a 4.5. 30 IBUs, yeah, I mean, the coffee does give off a slight bitterness, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting more of a kind of a sweet note in this. Again, the, the, what I picked up on the, the Hellis Bellis, the, um, the German... Hellas beer the other day was the, the water quality in this and I, I'm getting it again on, on, on this beer as well completely different style of course but that's coming through again I mean it's not massive like on the aroma of for coffee but there's a slight kind of dry finish going along with this as well again a very very pleasant beer Put the rest of this in there. It's leaving a nice lacing on the glass. So yeah, I mean a session strength. I mean if you can session this, by the time you get home you, you wouldn't want to fall asleep. Yeah, cracking little beer. Hmm. Very nice. Um so in this 
uh, the malts are Pailau Dextran Crystal 400 Brown Chocolate and Cafra uh, Special Free. The hops in this are Progress. Um, we've gone into the coffee beans. Uh, yeah, single estate. Uh, Dragon coffee beans from Costa Rica and then the uh, Westerham House Yeast 4.5% This has got a best before April of 2020 so I thought a low ABV beer with coffee kind of I wasn't going to do them in this order I was probably going to leave this to the last but with the way the weather is and stuff I fancy a stout I was like yeah we'll, we'll go with this one and we'll leave the um, the other two for a little bit better weather but but yeah I love the um, kind of artwork again very similar obviously different colours from the uh, Helis Bellis kind of thing but yeah really kind of that's the name of the beer all the lines going towards it nice um, is there any other information here yeah just ingredients water malted barley coffee hops and yeast which we've already gone through with obviously the allergens are malted barley um, that goes into commercial description which kind of already gone through but I'll put it down below as well so I'll give it a rating then see what we think it's, it's super drinkable um, it's leaving a crack in lacing I'd imagine I mean I don't know if they do this on cask I don't know but I bet this is fantastic on cask mm. I will get to the rain I'm just like have some more of that I'm gonna give this a a 7 out of 10 um, I think that's for me that's, that's just you know my little opinion so yeah 7 out of 10 um, a 3.5 on the untapped scale um, solid solid beer again um, I do like a coffee uh, coffee stout as well, so it's kind of like a low ABV, I'd say. I, I, I prefer the lower strength kind of stouts for this time of year. Um, but then if there's a larger big stout going, yeah, I'll, I'll have it as well. But, but yeah, this is a nice kind of sensible ABV uh, for me. Um, yeah, let's go over to Untap then and see what everyone else thinks about this. Um, it's only had a total of 40 actual check-ins on this one um, and only 33 in the last 30 days so I don't know if this is um, I think this is almost certainly a um, a new seasonal release looking at that um, I don't there's no date when this was added to untapped either so don't know there um, so it's had 30 so it's had 32 actual ratings then it's coming out at 3.77 um, that's about right for me um, 4.5 percent 30 IBU coffee stout very nice indeed um, and Otto's are out of a, a coffee shop out of Seven Oaks in West Kent so um, interesting so yeah let me know if you've had this one before thanks to the brewery again for sending me the beer this is Dragon's Shadow very nice excellent so thanks for watching please subscribe if you're new to the channel give us a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next review cheers